वेलकम टू जी टेक टेक्नो सोल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट मशीन डिजाइन एंड इट्स इंटरव्यू टिप्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिफाइन फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी एफ ओ एस ऑल्सो नोन एज सेफ्टी फैक्टर दैट इज एस एफ इज कंसिडर टू बी अ टर्म describing the structural capacity of a system beyond the expected loads or actual loads essentially how much stronger the system is than it usually needs to be for an intended load if we consider about the factor of safety the ratio between the maximum stresses to working stress is known as factor of safety we can say we got the next question define endurance limit endurance limit is the maximum value of completely reversed stress that the standard specimen can sustain an infinite number of cycles without failure the number of cycle is having a count of 106 fatigue limit endurance limit and fatigue strength are all expressions used to describe the property of materials that is nothing but the amplitude of cyclic stress that can be applied to the material without causing the fatigue failure so this is all about the endurance limit so we got the next question what is mean by impact load If the time of load application is less than one third of the lowest natural period of vibration of the part, it is called as impact load. We'll talk about the next question. What are the various phases of design process? The various phases are recognition of need, definition of problem, synthesis, analysis, and optimization. evolution and presentation so these are considered to be the various phases of design process we'll move to the next question what are the different types of loads that can act on machine components so the different types of loads are the first one is steady load variable load shock load and impact load So these are the different types of loads. So what are the factors affecting endurance strength? The factors affecting endurance strength are load, surface finish, size, temperature, impact and reliability. So these are the factors affecting the endurance strength. We'll move to the next question. What are the types of variable stresses? The types of variable stresses are completely reversed or cyclic stresses fluctuating stresses and repeated stresses so these are the different types of variable stresses so the next question is differentiate between repeated stress and reversed stress repeated stress refers to a stress varying from zero to a maximum value of same nature if you see about the reversed stress So the reverse stress of cyclic stress varies from one value of tension to the same value of compression. So we got the next question. What are the types of fracture? The types of fracture are ductile fracture and brittle fracture. If you see about the ductile fracture in ductile materials the crack moves slowly and it is going to be accompanied by a large number of plastic deformation the crack will usually not extend unless an increased stress is applied if you see about the brittle fracture cracks tends to spread very rapidly with little or no plastic deformation the cracks that propagate in a brittle material will continue to grow an increase in magnitude once they are initiated so this is all about the types of fracture 
you can see here the depiction of ductile fracture and the brittle fracture over here we got the next question distinguish between brittle fracture and ductile fracture so if we consider about the brittle fracture crack growth is up to a small depth of the material in terms of the ductile fracture a large amount of plastic deformation is present to a higher depth so you can see here the brittle fracture and ductile fracture so here we got a comparison of steel at 80 kelvin and steel at 300 kelvin here we go with the next question explain size factor in endurance strength size factor is used to consider the effect of the size of an endurance strength a large size object will have more defects compared to the small one so we can conclude by telling that the endurance strength is going to be reduced if k is a size factor then we can say that the actual endurance strength is equals to the theoretical endurance limit multiplied by k we'll move on to the next question what are the modes of fracture there are actually three modes the first mode is opening mode the second one is sliding mode the third mode is tearing mode So if we see about mode one, displacement is normal to crack surface. If we see about mode two, that is the sliding mode, the displacement is in the plane of plate. If we consider about the tearing mode, it will be out of plane shear. So you can find out the mode one, mode two, and mode three as follows. We got the next question. What are the factors to be considered in the selection of materials for a machine element? The factors to be considered in the selection of materials for a machine element are required material properties, manufacturing ease, material availability and the cost. So these are the factors to be considered in the selection of materials for a machine element. We'll move on to the next question. What are the various theories of failure? So the first one is maximum principal stress theory. According to this theory, when the maximum principal stress induced in a material under some complex load condition by exceeding the maximum normal strength in a simple test, a kind of simple tension test, the material fails. So this is the principle of the maximum stress theory. We have the next theory of failure that is the maximum shear stress theory. So if we consider about this theory good for ductile materials. It is actually good for ductile materials. According to this theory when the maximum shear strength in actual case exceeds the maximum allowable shear stress in a simple tension then the test material case is defined for this theory so the next failure theory is all about the maximum normal strain theory so this theory states that when the maximum normal strain in actual case is more than the maximum normal strain occurred in a simple tension test case the material fails so this is the concept which lies with under the maximum normal strain theory so the next one is all about the total strain energy theory when the total strain energy in actual case exceeds the total strain energy in simple tension test at the time of failure the material fails so this is all about the total strain energy theory we have the next question list out the factors involved in arriving at factor of safety so the answer is 
material properties nature of loads presence of localized stresses and mode of failures so these are the factors involved in arriving at factor of safety we'll move to the next question we got to give some of the methods of reducing stress concentration so the methods of reducing the stress concentration are as follows the first and foremost methodology is avoiding sharp corners the second one is providing fillets the third one is usage of multiple holes instead of single hole and the final one is undercutting the shoulder parts so these are considered to be the methodologies which is deployed for reducing the stress concentration we got the next question explain not sensitivity and state the relation between stress concentration factor fatigue stress concentration factor and not sensitivity so if you consider about the not sensitivity that is represented as q it is the degree to which the theoretical effect of stress concentration is actually reached the relationship for the stress concentration factor fatigue stress concentration factor and not sensitivity is all about defined over here kf equals to 1 plus q of kt minus 1 is the relationship we'll move to the next question what are the factors that affect not sensitivity so the factors are material notch radius size of the component type of loading and the grain structure we'll move to the next question what is an sn curve sn curve is measured in a number of ways such as comparing the two life for cutting different material it is used to find out the fatigue stress value corresponding to a given number of cycles so the next question is what is mean by fatigue when a material is subjected to repeated stress it fails at stresses below the yield point stress such type of failure of a material is called as fatigue we'll move to the next question define machinability so the answer is machinability is the property of a material which refers to an relative case with which a material can be cut and s n curve has fatigue stress on y axis and the number of loading axis in x axis it's not axis it's the num- it's the number of loading cycles in x axis So the next question is define ductility. Ductility is the property of a material enabling it to be drawn into a wire with the application of the tensile force. It must be both strong and plastic. It is usually measured in terms of percentage elongation and reduction in area. Some examples are nickel and i, aluminum, al and copper see you we'll move to the next question what is curved beam in terms of the curved beam the neutral axis does not coincide with the centroidal axis you can find the curved beam over here where you can see the neutral axis which is not getting to be coincide with the centroidal axis We got the next question. Give some example for curved beam. The examples of curved beam are C frame and crane hook. You can find the C frame over here and the crane hook over here. We'll move to the next question. What is mean by principal stress and principal plane? A plane which has no shear stress is called as principal plane. and the corresponding stress is called as principal stress we got the next question write the bending equation so the bending equation is nothing but minus m 
divided by i equals to e divided by r that is equals to fs divided by y where m is nothing but the bending moment i is nothing but the moment of inertia e is considered to be the Young's modulus r is nothing but the radius of the shaft f is nothing but the shear stress and y is nothing but the difference from neutral axis we got the next question write the torsion equation the torsion equation is written as minus t divided by j equals to c pi divided by l that is equals to fs divided by r where t is torque j is polar moment of inertia c is rigidity modulus pi is angle of twist l is length of the shaft fs is nothing but shear stress and r is nothing but the radius of the shaft we'll move on to the next question to find the term critical speed the speed at which the shaft runs so that the additional deflection of the shaft from the axis of rotation becomes infinite which is called as critical or rolling speed we'll move on to the next question what factor is considered to design a shaft the factors are strength and stiffness so strength is the first factor and stiffness the second factor so the next question what is key key is a device which is used for connecting two machine parts in order for the purpose of preventing the relative motion of rotation with respect to each other we'll move on to the next question what are the types of keys the types of keys are saddle key tangent key sunk key round key and taper pins we got the next question what is the main use of wood rough keys so a wood rough key is used to transmit small value of torque in terms of automotive that is automotive and machine tool industries the key way in the shaft is mild in a curved shape whereas the key way in the hub is usually straight so this is all about the usage of wood rough keys Thank you for watching the GTEC video. 